Hello there guys, welcome to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. So today we're going to be developing further on um, the patrolling between the points. And we're actually going to get it so that we can have two sets of the same AI patrol across two different points. So without having to create a whole other AI, um, let me just demonstrate this here if I can lose sight of these guys. Whoop. Eject and try and demonstrate what I'm talking about. So I have two AI here. They are using the exact same behavior tree. They are using the exact same blackboard, except one of them is going to patrol from here to here and the other one will patrol from here to here. So how have I got them to do two separate things, but using the, to, the exact same blueprint and the exact same AI? So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that. So obviously I've added these two extra target points. We'll delete those and we'll start from the beginning. So we're going to drag out holding alt to copy that and alt off that one again um, so target points three and four we need to select those and change the tag to tut2 or something along those lines so we have this actor over here which has the tag tut and these ones which have the tag tut2 so we're going to go ahead and fire up the tutorial controller and in here on our well we'll be needing to edit this soon as well so we'll move that out the way for now but on our on our on event sorry event on possess let me rephrase that um after we run the behavior tree just before we do this we need to um no we don't actually what we need to do is break off on this here so if it's not tut we're going to go to a second branch plug in a actor has tag so this is where we're going to check for tut2 and the target we want to be checking is the array element. So if it's not tutorial one, then we're going to check if it's tutorial two. And if it is, we're going to need somewhere to put that. So let's go ahead and make a second array of type target point. And we're going to name this one uh, patrol points two. Compile that and actually make that an array. Compile. And we're going to get a reference to that and we're going to call add on this array if it's true so what this is going to do is if it's not tutorial or tut rather if it is tut sorry let's let's take it th through let's take a, a step through this so we get all the target points in the world on on the first one if it has the tag tut we add it to this array if the second one has the tag tut2 then it'll call false on here come down to this branch where it will trigger true because it does have the tag tut2 and be added to this second array. So now we have two different arrays of patrolling locations. So what we're going to want to do now is go ahead down here to our get new point and we're going to change this up and add an input onto it. So a new parameter input of type integer and we're going to name this path. Okay. So I'm just going to reorder this real quick. So I need to move you guys up here, move the blackboard and this guy down. Because what we're going to do is we're going to copy this node. We're going to plug in the same name, the same blackboard. And in fact, we're going to copy all of this code too. Except we're going to change patrol points to be our new one of patrol points too. So let's hook the array into the length and the get. And then out of the get, let's put that into the object name. So we need a way to differentiate between these two, and that's where this comes in. So we're going to drag off that and type in switch for a switch on int. And we're going to add two pins, so a 0 and a 1. So if it's 0, we want you to do the first patrol point, which is the tut ones. If it's 1, we want you to do the tut 2 ones. So this path, let's go and take a look now at where get new point is called from. So if you remember on the last video, we had this... Um, Ooh, where did I put it? Uh, that's it. In the get target location tut. That's where I built it last time. This was the task that we built last time. And you see that now has a integer input in here. So we need a way to switch this dynamically. So let's fire up our zombie. And let's give him a variable of type integer. Can you guess what I'm going to name it? I'm going to name it path. And we have to make this a public variable. So make sure you open this eye over here. So the zombie now has a path on him. That's great. And back in our tutorial controller, we need that path from somewhere. So in our get target location task, off the zombie controller, we're going to get the zombie. So get the zombie. Is he called zombie? He, zombie tut, rather. Um, get zombie tut. That's odd. 
That is rather odd. Um, we'll try this anyway. So what we want to do is call off that and do get path. So this is the variable path that we've just created on the zombie. And we'll plug that into here. Compile it. And if I remove my AI from the world, my development AI, and drop in two different zombies, on one of them, I'm going to leave the path over here set to zero. And on the other one, I'm going to set it to one. So what I'm actually going to do also is just try and move my character somewhere that he's not going to be seen when the game starts. So I can just straight away eject and see what they're doing. So hopefully now these guys should patrol to different points, but we'll see here. That's it. So he's selected that point because he's number one and he's now alternating between tut two, uh, sorry, between target point three and target point four, which have the tags tut one and tut two. And he spotted me just in the alleyway as he turned around. So that's broken him, but we'll, uh, we'll stop that. Move my character a bit, I guess, and just try and hide again. Maybe somewhere else over here. I shouldn't be spotted from here. So let's eject and just go and take another look at what they're doing. So they're going to walk over to where they are. And uh, in fact, just as one point to mention, at the end of the last tutorial, I didn't tell you this. I sh really should have done. Inside your... Let me think where it is. Uh, let me open the behavior tree. Inside this get target location tut, there really should have been a, a walk thing in here. So if yours doesn't have walk, just drag off the tut controller and call walk. So this is basically to get them going back to walking when they're patrolling instead of running as they do when they chase. So these AI work the exact same now. Um, they'll be patrolling the stairs and there'll be one patrolling up there. But still, if they catch my, if they catch sight of me, they'll still chase after me and come and do the attacking and everything else as they should do. So they work perfectly now, but now we can specify using the exact same AI whether they should patrol along a certain path or not. So I hope this video has been helpful. Um, I hope that you can find some use for this, guys. I'm going to continue to develop my AI behavior tree, add all sorts of random things into it. Um, one thing I do want to explore is splines and making them follow us uh, a path that I could draw onto the world. So instead of having to place target points, I could uh, draw some kind of loop here and they would just loop around. Um, so that's going to wrap it up for this tutorial. Uh, if you like the video, subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Give the video a thumbs up. Drop me a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. And as always, guys, I'll see you in the next video.